Ahoy, ahoy. And uh, welcome to uh, another one of the some custom slipcase overviews. Uh, my name is Clifford, and uh, yeah, um, today we're looking at the custom slipcase I built for the Daredevil by Bendis um, Omnibus. And I must apologize for the vehicle uh, sounds outside. I'm recording this at around dinner time, so people are kind of busy outdoors. Anyway, the um, this is the omnibus, and uh, let's. Well, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have um, given, you know, overviews of the books, so I'm not gonna take them out of the box, but. Um, just a quick look. Um, this is on one side. The, the originally the uh, the artwork was in reverse. It's, it's a negative. I, what I did was I I took just the you know the line the line art and reversed it, or rather, I uh, filled the line art with red, set it against a black. Um, background and then I just sort of filled in the eyes. It looks a lot creepier compared to just leaving it black. So yeah. And the other side is one of my favorite um Dare Daredevil panels by Alex Madiv. Um can't remember which exact issue but um, if you watch the end of Daredevil season one they use a very similar artwork for Ebb uh, on the um, there was this scene in the last episode where they finally named him Daredevil and there was a, a newspaper a newspaper there and then um, the almost I, I'm not sure if this that was a reworked piece but yeah almost the same it's just a you know instead of the D the suit the it featured the you know black and red design but yep, yeah, same deal. Um, those fire exit things back. Um, and this is the spine, which uh, the, that's the logo I took. Uh, this is the logo that was used on the Decalogue storyline on volume two. And I figured I wanted a logo that uh, isn't, the, isn't the same as uh, this the classic ones but because basically I can find a good version of it so you know might as well do that you know make it look a bit unique um, as and as you will see and later when I show my other Marvel I'm, I'm trying to you know uh, give this a distinct every every Marvel book a distinct look but um, one of my rules when designing um, slipcase covers is um, there has to be some continuity uh, with the borders of the box and the spine. Marvel uh, generally has white, uh, sorry, black um, colorway on their spine, so I, I tend to choose that. And then this, uh, the omnibus markings at the top, I have a matching red marking there and that goes for my um, as you will see when I uh, show my other uh, slip cases it's uh, practically the same and yeah I, I think it works but if you I don't know tell me what you think does it work does it not work uh, do I ha should have just uh, made this uh, solid black all around or um, should I I don't know um, but what I can say is, uh, I, I am going to keep it consistent uh, when the uh, because I'm getting the uh, uh, Daredevil by Brew Baker omnibus. I'm hoping that they by by this time they haven't um, announced a reprint of Volume Two. So Volume One is a few months away. So I'm getting that. And uh, yeah, the other one when it's out, and then yeah, you can expect a box because uh, that uh, this run and the Brew Baker's run it can uh, it it's it directly continues from Bendis. The ending of this uh, the, uh, volume two connects to the beginning of a Brew Baker's run, and then I forgot. I think that Shadowland was the other, or 
that Shadowland was the run that immediately followed Brubaker. So, so if there's an omnibus, I think there is. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, this um, this is a brilliant run, and um, it does. And I love the fact that um, I was able to nail <laughs> this. And and well, I'm rambling. Uh, yeah, a bit tired. Sorry about that. Well. Um, that's it for this set um, take care be nice to everyone and if uh, you like this video and want more just uh, hit like subscribe you know notification bell yada yada well bye for now